depends on the lease. He leased it to a third party uh, named uh, Las Banderas Catering Lounge Corporation. And um, the interesting thing is that Las Banderas um, also didn't feel hindered in its subleasing of the premise to other people. Um, <coughs> so this licensee not only lied about the fact that he was he, he rented out the premise, he is actually the landlord of the building, so he, he is even in the position to know of the shenanigans that are going on there, that this place is operating as an after-hours club. He clearly doesn't care. He never disclosed to the liquor authority that his corporation has been dissolved by proclamation as of 2011, which means he hasn't paid taxes since 2006. Um, so this licensee cannot be trusted. So we're, we're uh, requesting that um, the members um, summarily shut this place down. Also, um, we did get some late information from the 4-6 precinct that there had been summonses issued on April 3rd, 2016 for six minors. Um, this is the first we'd heard of this. Uh, I have not interviewed those police officers, those two police officers that issued the summonses. Obviously, those charges are very serious. Um, but for all these reasons, we're requesting that you summarily suspend this license. The shooting, did anyone get hit? Yes, the patron got uh, struck in the shoulder. You can see it in the video that the police uh, obtained, and we have a copy of the video. How was this brought to our attention? Was it by, by the police? No, uh, it, it was not. It was uh, brought to by t our attention by the hospital. Um, the victim went into the hospital, and they notified the police, and that's how the, the police found out. Nobody from the precinct called 911. Nobody from the premises called 911. I'm saying that notice of the shooting in the establishment, we were notified that by the police department who was notified by the hospital? Yes. Okay. So they were operating full bore at 540. Their closing hours were probably, what, 4 o'clock? Um, we believe so. Based on um, the investigating detective said he viewed videos from outside and inside, and the outside videos that we don't have a copy of yet show that you know they have signals worked out where people knock before they're permitted in, which is kind of a telltale sign that they're operating after hours. Um, we don't, aside from this particular incident, we don't have any fixed evidence at this point that they were operating after hours on other occasions. But I mean, it, the circumstances here. Definitely seem to show that this is how they're that they're. It's an after-hours place. Well, we don't have any licenses that op that serve past four o'clock in New York City, correct? Correct. The state, no, no, illegal. State, in the whole state, yeah. right? <coughs> I thought just by county. All right. So Carlos Garcia is a licensee and a landlord. Santiago Alamante was renting from from Elba. Fournier, who was Carlos's girlfriend. Right. She's been um, holding herself out as an owner. I haven't confirmed that. But, uh, you know, maybe she's working with him, being the administrator of the building. I don't really know. But um, the, the uh, police officer, Ephraim, who uh, uh, worked with me on this case, asked Mr. Car Carlos Garcia to meet with him. Mr. Garcia did not show up to the meeting. His girlfriend showed up and said, Carlos sent me, and she brought the police officer a copy of the lease. Okay. And it's my understanding, uh, Council Marcico, that um, on top of this, on top of the fact that we cannot seem to track down the, the licensee in connection to this premises, that they are actually also then allowing promoters to uh, use this premises. So we really have no idea who's actually running this establishment in some way. No, and also this Almonte person, uh, it wasn't just that the girlfriend presented us the lease. Mr. Almonte told police officers voluntarily, he said, yes, you know, I'm renting this place. And he said, I'm also subleasing it to promoters. So what he's saying is corroborated by the lease that was given to us by Carlos Garcia's girlfriend, which is also corroborated by the New York State Department of State printouts that show that Mr. Almonte's corporation was formed right around the time that he signed the lease to rent this place. So and that's in, that's in complete contradiction with the paperwork we have on our license. Yes. What is this place? A club, restaurant? What's it supposed to be? It's supposed to be a club, a bar. Okay. Yeah. It has a restaurant tavern license, correct? Yes. Uh, no, a bar tavern license, I thought. Okay. 
All right. Any members ready to vote? Yes, sir. Um, you want me to go first? Yeah. yeah. Um, I uh, will vote to uh, for an emergency summary order suspension. Um, there's several reasons why. I mean, the first reason is is enough, in my opinion, the fact that there was a shooting inside that wasn't reported uh, by the establishment. Um, it's obvious that the licensee has been availing his license through several layers here for a few years, uh, operating under an expired, well, formerly expired uh, uh, corporation. Um, operating, you know, uh, past closing hour, that's not under method of operation, whatever that is. And uh, also, which was brought to our attention that there were six minors drinking inside the licensed premises as well recently, and an unlicensed security guard. So I, I vote to uh, summarily, or for summary order suspension. I also vote for a summary order suspension. It's obvious based on um, the presentation that the public health safety si public health safety and welfare requires a summary suspension at this point. We have no idea who is actually running this place. It's clear that it's being rented out to people that we have not uh, vetted or reviewed in any way. It's obvious that, that there's escalating violence occurring and that they have absolutely no uh, respect for the ABC law uh, as evidenced by the fact that they were clearly fully operating at 540 in the morning. So I vote to summary suspend at this point. Okay. I have a, I'm sorry. No, sir, thank you. I have no other items, Chairman, unless you would like to no, say anything. All right, thank, thank you. you. Meeting is Thank adjourned. you. Okay, thank you.